All right. I'm Max Rush doing James Lee Love here with another episode of Brands Experts Podcast. All right. Excited to be here. Right. So, what we're going to be getting on today is uh, kind of similar to the last episode. We're talking about um, digital stuff, but now we're going to be getting more into I'm talking about investing. I want to talk about what is the best way kind of to set up your foundational digital investment strategy, right? Well, the first thing you need to do, right, set up an emergency fund, right? I'm, just, I'm giving you kind of like step by step so you know what to do. First thing you need to do is set up an emergency fund, right? So why are we doing that? So you don't spend your investments, right? So we want to take anywhere from 30 to 90 days to set up your digital, I mean, excuse me, set up your emergency fund, right? We want to do that. Like I say, because emergencies happen. Like, I know we, we all, you know, if you have a job or you have steady income, whatever the case, got you. What's going to happen when that car breaks down? What's going to happen when something happens to the kids? What's going to happen when something like that happens, right? You're going to have to make a, a crazy adjustment out of nowhere. and You know, like, that's not what you want. So the first thing you're going to do is set up your savings, right? Uh, so how you're going to do that is, let's say your savings amount you want to get to is 5000 That's cool. You're going to set up a daily amount, right, um, to do, right, for the 60 days. So say it's you want to have 3,000. So we're going to do the math here is 3,000 divided by 60. And you're going to be able to hit $50 a day, 60 days you have that. So do that for two months. I know it seems like a long time. Just do that so you can actually have a good, investing account that can actually grow because when you see it grow when you're able to kind of you know visualize that growth and all that you know great things are going to be able to happen to you so that's the first thing you need to do but now you're investing now it's time to pick investments so like you're happy it's time to you know do the thing where you're picking and you know you're doing all that good stuff what are you going to pick like what what is going to be your picks for your investments right so the way i would do this is i would um, only invest in ETFs, right? Exchange traded funds, right? These are funds that brokerages like Vanek, Vanguard, iShares, you know, places like that will set up, manage them for you, and you're going to be able to get the returns. The reason, like, and so, like, let's, you know, dig more into what an ETF is. Like, that's what ETF is. It's traded on an, an exchange, like, the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. And it's set up like that so you can kind of get in and out of it throughout the day, right? There's different kind of price points you can get in and out. A mutual fund only buys and sells one time during the day. So, I mean, that's what's great about ETF, exchange Treasury Fund. We believe that should be the fundamental piece to your investment stuff. Like, and there's a lot of reasons why. So we're going to get into those. The first reason is, like, stocks are great, right? And that's why I say fundamental, right? You're going to, you know, eventually set up a 5 or 10% or maybe more allocation to stocks. I mean, excuse me, to crypto, uh, cryptocurrency investments. The reason why we want you to keep it to 5 or 10%, not that much, is because it's so volatile. So you can have days where it's up 40% and days where it's down 40% or, or more or less or whatever case. So we want you in a position to where it's you don't have to really experience those high and lows and you really know that would you could take out your investment to you know a really bad position, especially when you're investing in some of these very speculative crypto projects. Um, you did your research, you know that you feel like they're gonna be good, like your ICB internet protocol or your render, right? Um, or your you know, ones like that which is, you know, like Fetch, AI, which is turned into ASI, artificial superintelligence, right? So all, all of these things are happening, but, you know, you don't want to experience those big drops, right? Especially when you get first get started. So you want to do exchange trading funds, right? And so that's where you want to start your research. And so from there, you, you want to go to Google, or YouTube, whatever, when you're doing your research, research is very important. We're going to have videos where we get into 
you know, how you do your research and that kind of stuff, which is going to be really cool thing to do over time. But, you know, as the big picture kind of plays out, what you need to be thinking is what type of ETFs are you interested in, right? What type of exchange traded funds are you into will be beneficial for your brand over time, right? Um, so those are the kind of things that I want you to be looking out for. So how are you going to, you know, set up your ETFs? How are you going to make them work? So now that you, you know, you know what kind of ETFs you want, right? Um, you're going through a, a platform, rather it's a Stash or M1, Fidelity, right? Robin Hood, right? There's different ways you can get at this, right? But now you have your account set up, you have your cards, right? You know, you have your, your good stuff that you, you need to go, right? How do you find these good ETFs? Well, the way you do it is you just get on Google and you search great tech ETFs, right? And then you kind of like, you know, go on the kind of companies that you want in there. That So if you want an ETF that has Apple exposure, you go to, you just Google top performing ETFs with Apple exposure. Google that and you're going to be able to find great ETFs. And what I want you to do is I want you to look at the performance over the last six months, year, five years, ten years, and beyond. I want you to look at the performance over time because when you look at that performance over time, you're going to be able to get a better feel for what's going on or what makes sense, right? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to do your homework. I want you to do your research for what makes sense, right? And that's the foundation of what you're doing. And I want you to look at it from... You know, from there, you know, you're doing your research. What should you do your research on? I want you to pick five different uh, ETFs, right? And, and then you split up your total weekly investment into those five ETFs, right? So let's say you want to do 500 a week. You're going to be splitting them into these five ETFs, right? So that's going to be 100 per ETF per week. And you do your research. Like, let's say one of them is feature focuses AI, one, another one focuses blockchain, another fo focuses on innovative technology br companies, right? So those are all inside these ETFs. You have a very passive approach in which it happens every week regardless. Price up, price down. You're picking your day. The best day is Monday, right? Just, you know, that's a nice Easter egg that you, you know, you have, which you know that your best day to set up your auto invest is on a Monday, Right. So, you know, you want to remove the emotions out of what you're doing, set it for the long term and uh, let it do its thing. But you need to have a good foundation, foundational piece to what you're doing and what you're building and just grow from there. So, uh, you know, that's all I want to let everybody know. Uh, have a good foundational piece, have your stuff set up and, yeah, um, do your thing like that, you know, because when you have your foundational piece, the goal is this. Right. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know, the big the big goal we're trying to do. We're trying to gain 3 to 5% per week, right? That's the goal. We might hit it some weeks. We might not hit it some weeks. That's fine. But the goal is if we can get a 3 to 5% return per week, we're doing a good job, right? Because 52 weeks, right? So, you know, even if we get to 2%, 2 to 5%, right? That We're doing good, right? Because a lot of people look at these big returns. But you got to remember, sometimes you're getting big returns. Sometimes you're getting big losses. So, uh, ETF has different companies inside this basket of invest investments, and you're putting yourself in a good position to really capture the best of of this uh, investment big picture, right? So, so that's what we want. We want you in the best position to capture the long term, you know, of this investment. So. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to recap, right, what we were talking about, right? We're going to, you know, do a recap. And that is what are, I mean, what, how to set up the foundation for your investment portfolio. First thing you want to do is you want to have it set up for the long term, right? So we're only doing ETFs, right? Only doing ETFs, right? When I'm teaching you how to invest, it's very important that we take emotion out of it, right? Single stocks, a lot of emotion, big dips, right? You can Apple can be down 30% in one day. Nike was just down, 
you know, 40% in one day, right, or, or something big like that, right? We don't want you to experience those kind of jumps. That's going to create emotion. You're going to see your investment account, if it was, you know, everything was inside Apple, or, I mean, excuse me, everything was inside of Nike, what will happen in that situation is you'll go from, you know, $100,000, and then you'll go all the way down to, you know, you'll lose 40, so I'll leave you with 60 in one day, right? That's not what you want to be in. If you want to be in an ETF, a exchange traded fund, like we're going to recap what that is again. So what is the exchange traded fund? It's a fund that is traded on the exchange that you can get in and out of at any time of the day. And this fund can be focused on a sector. So when we talk about it could be tech, it could be innovative tech, it could be um, semiconductors, it can be, you know, innovative United States companies, whatever your focus is or whatnot, you know, whatever you're picking can be situated inside of that, you know, area. So that basket of investments will be situated inside of that. And so from there, we know we're investing in, we know we're doing as far as that goes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the decision of how much we're investing in per week. So per week, if we we're going to pick five ETFs, five exchange trade funds, right? And per week, we're going to invest, you know, let's, let's say 500. We're going to split it 100 per week per investment. Cool, we're going to do that. And then from there, what we're going to do is uh, everything is situated inside the investments. And we're just going to be consistent all year. And we're going to do the math and know that 500 times 52 weeks, 52 weeks in one year, we're going to know that by the end of the year, if we start from January to December, right, 12 months in a year, 52 weeks, 52 times that 500, right, is we're going to have $26,000 invested for 52 weeks. And, yeah, that's that's great from coming from zero. And, yeah, so that's what we want to do. Just want to get into that and uh, get that foundational piece set up. Like I say, more content coming, more great stuff coming. And yeah, I just want to let you guys know how to set your stuff up on a foundational level and how to build up from there. And yeah, just, you know, just had that for you, you know, being consistent. Like I say, you know, I want people to know that where you are today is not where you're going to be in a year from now, five years from now, wherever it's at going forward. Everything's not at the end. So you're in a position where you're going to grow and you're going to build. Uh, just stay confident, right? And, and just do what you're doing now. Do your habits. Get better. Do all that stuff. And don't get discouraged at where you're at now because that's not where you're going to be. If you look at your life five years ago, you've built more. You might be upgraded jobs, upgraded where you live at, uh, you know, different things, up or down, whatever. But things aren't the same. So just look at it. Build on it. Yeah, just make those great decisions going forward. All right. James Lee Love signing out. Brands Experts Podcast. Let's go.